Pitcher number 18, Chris Windisman. First baseman number 24, Jackson Collins. Catcher number two, Garrett Banks. Center fielder number 12, Ramsey Simpson. Third baseman number seven, Joseph Sandusky. Your designated hitter, number 29, Caleb Brown. Left fielder, number 14, Brandon Morio. Right fielder, number 8, Cole Drakey. Number 5, Timothy Calderon. Number 15, James Morio. Number 16, Wyatt Newman. Number 20, Dominic Escamilla. Number 21, Luke Minky. Number 22, Ryan Shook. Number 23, Alex Presidio. Number 25, Ryan Schneider. And number 26, Xander Kobar. Your Mavericks are, head by head, are led by head coach Silver Aguirre and assistant coach Iron Drum. Ladies and gentlemen, if you could please stand and remove your caps for the playing of our national anthem. All right, hello folks and welcome to tonight's game, the last game of the season here for your McNeil Mavericks in this 2022 season. Mavs hosting the Westwood Warriors. Only game this week. This is one of those, the way they have it set up is each team in district plays one team in the very first game of the season. Then goes through two games a week with the rest of the teams. And then it finishes with the very first team that they played at the beginning of the season. So Mavs dropped the first game this season back all the way in, uh, I think it was February, to Westwood. Hoping to walk off and end the season here with a win at home against the Warriors. Warriors have already, Warriors sitting in first place in district have already clinched a playoff berth along with Cedar Ridge. Final game of the high school career tonight for 12 seniors on the McNeil Mavericks team. And a host of those out there in your starting lineup for the Mavericks tonight. Going around the horn here, we have senior Jackson Collins at first. Jack Goins at second. Senior Ryan Vasek at short. Joseph Sandusky at third. Left fielder Brandon Morio. And center fielder Ramsey Simpson. Right fielder, the senior Cole Granke. Your battery tonight behind the plate, senior catcher Garrett Banks. And starting pitcher, left-handed senior Chris Windesman. Good evening to my partner in crime. Welcome Jason back. Mario. Yes, sir. Glad to be back. Glad to be here. 
All right, and Windesman is ready to go, about ready to get underway here. Now batting number six, Jeff Heber. Pretty nice night game, actually. This game was supposed to happen yesterday, but due to uh, some intense rain that happened on Monday, field was unplayable. So uh, while the rest of the district games all completed yesterday, this is the last remaining one here and got moved to today. And first pitch coming up to leadoff hitter, first baseman Jeff Hebert. Squares around a bunt, but pulls back as the pitch misses outside for ball one. Next pitch, breaking ball in there for called strike. One one pitch swung on, lined into right field. That's going to get down for a single. So leadoff single to right field for Hebert. That'll bring up number 11, second baseman, Gael Garcia. First pitch swung on, ground ball fielded by third baseman Sandusky. Throws the second, gets the force on the lead runner, but not going to have a chance to get Garcia at first. Now batting number 21, Matthew Gula. So one away on the fielder's choice. Garcia stands at, set at first. That brings up the number three hitter shortstop, Matthew Gula. First pitch breaking ball misses a little inside and low ball one. Oh, okay. Next pitch fastball misses outside. Yeah, it's crazy to think that we're already at the finale of the regular season district game. Yes, indeed. Here we are. Oh, pick off throw over to first. Ooh, close. Close play there. Umpire call him safe. Definitely had him leaning towards second base. Great move by Chris Windesman there. On the attempted uh, pickoff play. Yeah, hard to believe that we're on game 14 here. Yeah. Of district play, plus all the preseason tournament stuff, although one did get canceled due to weather. Two balls and one strike now, the count to the hitter Gula. As has been does a quick throw over first. Garcia's back in time. Next pitch swung on, ground ball right up the middle. Fielded by second baseman Goins. He tags second, throw over to first. Bounced in there, but caught by first baseman Jackson we Collins did, for the double play. Way to dig it out, Jackson Collins right there. Goins just taking it himself to uh, second base. So Mavericks with the double play to end the uh, top of the first. So the 4-3 double play gets him out of the inning. One hit, no runs come across. Mavericks coming up for the first at bats here. We'll be right back.
All right, leading off for the Mavericks here in the bottom of the first inning, Jack Goings. Goins will be followed by the shortstop Ryan Vosick and then pitcher Chris Windesman. Ooh. And the first pitch from the Westwood starting pitcher Ridge Morgan is a little bit high and up in the kitchen there. Misses for ball one. Get a little bit of uh, chin music there. A little bit. And next pitch swung on, fouled back out of play. One one pitch swung on, foul back out of play again. So lead off here, Goins in here with a one two count, to start the inning. Next pitch bounces in the opposing batter's box. It'll be two balls, two strikes. Any way to get on, Jack. Just need you on base. 2-2 two -two pitch swung on, lined in the center field. That'll and that's going to drop in front for a leadoff yes, base sir. hit. So a leadoff single here for Goins to get things going for the Mavericks. That brings up number two hitter, Ryan Vosick. So we got the right side of the field battling some sun. We got the Westwood first baseman kind of holding his hand up there. It's like the sun's still still hanging up there pretty high. Could make things interesting for any uh, pop flies. Yeah, it's going to be tough, I would say, for the first couple innings. Next pitch swung on There's ground right ball up right middle. up the middle. That's yeah. going to get through the shortstop glove for a base hit. And go Goings is going to try to get all the way to third. He and he will be there. Vosick gets the second Vosick's as well. At second base. So some there aggressive base running on the single by Vosick. And everybody moves all the way up to the runners on second and third. That aggressive base running definitely pays off for the Mavericks. So here we go. Nobody out for Chris Windesman. Mavs threatening early here in the bottom of the first. Runners on second and third. Nobody out. Brings up left-hand hitting senior Chris Windesman. Windesman hit a ball out into the trees. <laughs> out in, uh, they believe they call that the Crail Tree, out there at 360 in right center field in the game against Stony Point the other night. First pitch. Breaking ball. Gets away from the catcher there, but not too far away for anybody to advance. Yeah, who was the other Maverick that hit a home run? The Garrett game Banks. That I missed. It was Garrett Banks. Garrett Banks yeah. hit a laser over the fence in uh, left field as well. That same game, that sixteen to fifteen walk off there against Stony Point on uh, Saturday. Next pitch swung on pops sky high. Wow! In play, catcher coming back to the screen trying to grab it, but it's going to get down. Westwood catcher unable to catch the pop fly there. So Windesman will head back with a one ball, one strike count. And new life. Next pitch swung on a miss, strike two. One two pitch misses just outside and low for ball two. And 
And next pitch comes inside. It bounces in the dirt. Count will go full. Three and two. Nobody out. And Jack Goins, your runner on third. And Ryan Vosick on second. No doubt with Goins' speed, that ball gets past the catcher. Goins is scoring. Absolutely. No doubt. Comes a 3-2 pitch to Windesman. Swung on, popped out of play. And in fact, yeah, pitch gets past the catcher or a ground ball just about anywhere except right back at the pitcher. And uh, you can believe Goins is going yeah, to definitely try to get across home plate. He'll make it home. 3-2 pitch. Swung on, fouled. Way to get a piece of it there, Chris. Stay alive. So when has been running up the pitch count this here this at bat? I believe this is pitch number eight coming up of the at bat. Another three two pitch. It clipped him. And it hits him. <laughs> So a 3-2 walk, or 3-2 hit by pitch to the pitcher, Windesman. That loads the bases, and we're going to have a conversation on the mound as the Westwood head coach heads out to uh, see if he can calm down his pitcher here. Windesman is going to get a courtesy runner, so number 23, Alex Brasenio, goes in in place of him at first. So Westwood coach is going to head back to the dugout. Morgan, your starting pitcher, remains on the mound. And the senior Jackson Collins stands in. And hoping to do some damage here with bases loaded, nobody out. Now batting number 24, Jackson Collins. This is exactly the uh, the great start that the Mavericks needed. First first two batters getting hits, and then then uh, Chris Wynn has been getting hit by a pitch. So let's see what we can do here with bases loaded, nobody out. First pitch to Collins misses outside for ball one. Next pitch slider, misses low. Gets away from the catcher, but kept in front. Ball two. Two zero pitch, fastball comes in, misses high and inside. So Collins yet to see a strike. 3-0 count. Nowhere to put him. Base is juiced. And let's see if he's got a green light here. Looking for that 3-0 cookie. And pitch it's misses inside. inside. Ball, Ball four. four. Yeah. <laughs> First run for the Mavericks coming across the plate. So the walk brings in the first run. It looks like uh, Westwood head coach coming out to uh, argue about the strike zone with the home plate umpire there. That generally doesn't go well. <laughs> Number two, Gary Banks. So Mavs up one zip. Base is still loaded. Still nobody out. Garrett Banks stands in. As we mentioned, Banks with a solo home run over left field fence in the Saturday game against Stony Point. And there's another fastball that misses high and inside. Five straight balls from the starting pitcher Morgan here. Next pitch swung on ground ball. Fielded by the shortstop. He's going to attack second base. Throws over to first and in time for the double play. But a one run will score. And Brasenio, the courtesy runner for Windesman, moves from second to third. So two down now for the Mavericks, but 
increasing the score to two to nothing. That brings up left hand hitting center fielder Ramsey Simpson. And he looks at a breaking ball that comes back, catches the outside corner late for called strike one. And Simpson swings the next pitch, fouls it back into the net. The 0-2 pitch is Simpson. Fastball misses high and outside. Definitely see when the pitcher Morgan tries to gas it up, he's consistently missing on that outs high and outside corner. Comes back in with the breaking ball and gets Simpson swing and strike three to end the inning. But Mavs go up first, strike first, put two runs up on two hits. Leading by a score of 2-0 to zero as we head to the top of the second. Warriors coming up to bat. We'll be right back. All right, leading it off for Westwood this inning, starting pitcher Ridge Morgan hitting in the fourth spot. Now batting for the Warriors, number 13, Ridge Morgan. Go yeah, first pitch to Morgan, misses a little fastball, misses high outside, ball one. Umpire looked like he was getting ready to fire a strike on that one there for strike call, but uh, held back. Pitch misses a little bit outside. Ball two. He sure did start him moving that direction. Yeah, it looked like he was going to pull the trigger there. <laughs> Next pitch swung on. Line driver center field. Simpson going back. He's going to get over his head. Ball's going to go all the way to the wall. And Morgan will be in with a stand-up double to start the top of the second inning. ball left the bat. I thought it was headed, you know, just right at Simpson. And <laughs> yep. just kept traveling over the head. This is a stand-up double for Morgan. It's like a courtesy runner going to come in for the pitcher Morgan. Uh, number 14. Number 14, Luke Rupertis. Now the courtesy runner on second base. 
So Roberta stands on second. That brings up the designated hitter, Jackson Gula. And he swings the first pitch, ground ball down the first base line. That's going to roll into right field. Rupertus is going to score easily from second. And it's an RBI single for Gula. Just jumped out there in that first pitch and hit the ground ball just right inside the first base line and out into right field. Yeah, perfect placement on that hit. Like like you said, just got just got out in front of it. And now we've got the score two to one McNeil. That brings up the catcher Brinson. So the first pitch, good breaking ball in there for called strike one. Next pitch misses outside and low. I guess that missed high. That fastball. Two had won the count to Brinson. Next pitch is in there on the outside corner for called strike two. Pretty good crowd here filling the stands at McNeil. Good participation on both sides, Westwood and McNeil. 2-2 two -two pitch. Swung on just got a piece of it. Looks like he fouled it off the uh, shin guard of catcher Garrett Banks there. Throws over to first. Check the runner. Gula over there. He's back in time easily. Just notice there's no wind out here tonight, folks. Flag is completely <laughs> just laying flat. Abnormal. So many games that we've had this season. Yeah, gusts up to 15, good. 17 yeah, miles an hour. We got zero tonight. Solid 10 up to 15. Yep. Majority of these games. Counts now full to Brinson. And next pitch is in there. there. Called strike three. Three for the first out for the Mavericks. All right. First strikeout of the night so far for Windesman. And one away now brings up the right fielder, number seven hitter, Gus Wendland. Big out there for Windesman. Get the strikeout. Get that first out. Try to get a ground ball here. Roll it up. Next pitch. A lot of arm side running that fastball. Misses a little bit outside. Ball one. Just gets a piece of that one and fouls it back to the screen. One ball, one strike. The count to Wendland. Quick step off throw there by Windesman. But Gula is back in time. Next pitch, breaking ball, ground ball. Fielded by Sandusky. Throws oh, off of his, his backside. backside. <laughs> in time to get the force out at second. Wow, With what a play. A throw on his backside. How about that? Great play by the freshman third baseman Sandusky there to get the force out at second for the second out of the inning. Tell you that that uh, Sandusky arm strength is uh, that's very impressive. Wow! Right there. Put an asterisk next to that play, there, folks. I want to make sure our uh, listeners heard, Jason. That's a freshman. That's at a third, freshman, at third indeed. Base. And runner goes and on the first pitch. 
throw down is not going to be offline. Actually hits the runner and kicks off over to shortstop area there, but not enough to advance. And that pitch to the hitter Dunn, I think believe, believe it was a called strike. It was a called strike, yeah, so called strike, strike one. Yeah. Yes. So stolen base for Wendland. He now stands on second with two outs and an 0-1 count to the hitter Dunn. And he's going to steal on the next pitch, too. Th tries to steal third, throw down. Safe. Looked like he might have come off the bag there. Sandusky did a good job applying the tag the whole time, but uh, umpire was right on top of it and said he was safe. It sure did look like he came uh, came off the bag just slightly there, but yeah, regardless, he's uh, safe on safe at third base with two down. Uh, the last pitch thrown was a ball, so it's a one ball, one strike count. Next pitch swung on, ground ball, soft roller to shortstop, fielded by Vasek, picks it up, throws oh, it over, no. but the throw's offline. So runner scores easily from third as he was running on two outs. And on the throwing error, Dunn's going to end up at second base. Yeah, Chris Windus, Chris Windisman, our pitcher, uh, he got what he wanted. You know, the you know lazy ground ball, the shortstop, and and Bostic just making the errant throw, keeping the inning alive. Now we got a tie ball game. With a runner on second base, two down. That brings up the number nine hitter, center fielder Moore. And he squares around a bunt, but pulls back on the first pitch breaking ball that misses high and outside. Looks at the next pitch, which is in there for a called strike. Oh, nasty breaking ball swung on and missed strike two. God, that was wicked. Came in right on the hands there. One ball, two strikes, the count to Moore. Throw it again. Same pitch. Next pitch gets away from a little bit there, misses high and outside. All twos, folks. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Runner on second base. Deuces. Runner goes on the 2-2 pitch. Swung on, pop fly. Got a right, left center gap. Simpson, the center fielder, is over nice. in the alley, and he makes the grab to get out of the inning. Good job by center fielder Simpson there to track it over his right shoulder there. So Westwood comes back, ties it up, puts up two runs on a couple of hits. All knotted up at two runs apiece here, folks. Headed to the bottom of the second. Maps coming up to bat. We will be right back.
All right, third baseman Joseph Sandusky will lead it off for the Mavericks here in the bottom of the second. And he looks like a first pitch fastball misses a little bit up. Ball one. Big swing and a miss on the next pitch. Ooh. One one fastball swung on miss strike two. Next pitch misses high. Two balls, two strikes to Sandusky, who made that highlight reel play. Third base, fielding the ground ball and then throwing the ball to get the force out at second from his backside last inning. Wow, unbelievable play, wasn't it? Next pitch popped up, but that's going to be trouble if it stays fair. That ball is going to get, oh, looks like second baseman comes over into foul territory, though, and makes the play. So one out for the Mavs here in the bottom of the second. That brings up designated hitter Caleb Crail. Crail, one of the seniors playing in his last high school game here tonight. Looks like a first pitch hard slider in there for called strike one. Swings the next pitch and misses. Count goes to 0-2. Next pitch swung on. A little soft ground ball. Fielded by the third baseman on the run. Throws over. Ooh, Crail was down there in a hurry. Close play at first, but umpire says it was in time. Talk about hustling down the line, though. He was Caleb looking. Crail. Yeah. Got, he made that play extremely close first base two down that brings up the left fielder number nine hitter Brandon Morio yeah, yeah, first pitch to Morio fastball misses high and end ball one so as we have a little gusting of wind now flags actually blowing a little bit out towards left field side Next pitch swung on, little soft ground ball fielded by the second baseman, throws over, and that will end the inning. So the Mavs go 1 2 3 here in the bottom of the second, no runs, no hits. Heading to the top of the third inning, all tied up at two apiece. We'll be right back.
All right, back to the top of the Warriors order here to start the third inning. The dive hitter Jeff Hebert stands in. Hebert led off the game with a single in the first inning. And first pitch is in there for called strike one. Oh, oh one pitch him. actually thrown behind him. Yeah, <laughs> didn't hit him, went behind him. <laughs> Boy, it is a good crowd, really good crowd. It is a good night. crowd. Yeah. This is, I think maybe middle school night would have been the only other night where we might have had more folks in the stands, but it is, uh, I think you're right. it is pretty packed. Yeah. So, after that exciting pitch, 1-1 <laughs> one, one count. Oh, Ooh, next pitch looks that. really good from where we sit. Missed somewhere. I think even the batter had to ask the umpire, where'd that miss? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> you want to call that a ball? 2-1 pitch coming up. Swung on. Fly ball into the yeah, gap, gap in left center field. That's going to get down. Goes all the way to the fence. Stand up double. That's all right. Stand up double to lead off the third here for Hebert. Hebert. So Hebert, two for two so far tonight with a single to double. That brings up second baseman Gael Garcia, who grounded into a fielder's choice in his first at bat. Corners up for the Mavericks defense here. And big swing and a miss is the first pitch fastball there for strike one. Yeah, Garcia wasn't holding anything back with that swing. That swing and a miss. Next pitch. Breaking ball gets over the head of the second baseman going. That's going to roll into the gap in right center field. Heber comes around, scores easily from second, and Hebert and Garcia trade places as Garcia has an RBI double. Westwood and with the go-ahead run, now 3-2. Westwood with the lead. That'll bring up number three hitter, Matthew Gula. Gula grounded into a double play to get out of the first inning. Swing is the first pitch. Ground ball fielded by the third baseman Sandusky. Looks the runner back to second. Throws over to first in time to retire Gula for the first out. Another good defensive play by Sandusky there. Good IQ. Check that runner. Yeah, look, look him back. back. Keep him at second base. <coughs> and gun him out at first base for the first out for McNeil. That'll bring up Ridge Morgan. Morgan had a double and scored a run in the second inning. Woodsman takes a long look at the runner on second. First pitch misses outside. Ball one. Comes inside, misses a little bit in low this time, ball two. Next pitch. A lot of run, misses a little bit outside mm -hmm. low. So we got a three ball, no strike count to uh, the hitter, Morgan.
And next pitch misses low, ball four. So one out walk for Morgan. Makes the runners on first and second. And we're going to have a courtesy runner again for Morgan. I believe that is number 14, Luke Rupertus again. So he Rupertus, yeah. courtesy runner out there on first. And Jackson Gula, designated hitter, will come to the plate. Gula with a single in his only at-bat so far. Squares around a bunt. Push bunt down third base side. Fielded by Sandusky. He's going to get back to the bag. He and got he dives in and gets it out. Sandusky. Wow. Wow. He's sacrificing his own body. The head first dive after fielding the, uh, the bunt. And getting the second out at third base. Another heads wow. up play for the freshman Sandusky Two there at third. Two great plays tonight thus far by Sandusky, the Mavs, Mavs third baseman. So two away now. Runner still on first and second. That brings up the hitter, Brinson. You, you think Sandusky has earned his spot, you know, at third base? I don't know. Uh, I'm not, I, not quite sure. Uh, I think yeah, I, I still need to see a little more. I think that's a pretty safe <laughs> bet. <laughs> wow. Great play. 0-1 pitch to oh. Brinson. Little just squib off the hands that finds its way into center field for a base hit. Throws going to be cut go. off, and they got a runner in the, a rundown in between run second and third. Score, but got him in a rundown. And they do get him out. For the third out. For the third out. So Brinson with the RBI single, but out that gets out of the inning on the base pass as the courtesy runner for Morgan Rupertus there was caught in a rundown between second and third for the third out. Westwood tacks on another run uh, to make the score four to two. So. Yep, heading to the bottom of the third. Right. Westwood up four two. We'll be right back. All right, top of the order for the Mavericks here to start off bottom of the third. Leadoff hitter Jack Goins stands in. Goins with a leadoff single and a run scored back in the first. And it looks like a first pitch slider that bounces in the dirt. Ball one. Next pitch is swung on, fly ball into right field. Right fielder's underneath it, takes a couple of steps in and makes the grab for the first out of the inning. It'll bring up Ryan Vosick. 
Bosick with a single and a run scored as well back in the first. Checks the swing on the first pitch. They appeal down to the first base umpire who says he did not go around, so it will be ball one. And 1 0. -oh. Breaking ball swung on a miss, strike one. Another breaking ball, so we're going to miss strike two. Won't be surprised if another breaking ball is coming right here. Yep, let's get your sets up out there. There it is. Yep. So three straight breaking balls there. I had a feeling. Second strikeout of the night for Morgan. Two away brings up the... Number three hitter, pitcher Chris Winnesman. Winnesman with a 3-2 hit by pitch to load the bases last inning. Man, he takes a big swing and a miss at the first pitch for strike one. Not going to have to worry about the sun much longer. Yep. It is fading now. First and second baseman, are, they're fine. Right fielder just getting. Yeah, he's just still got a little bit to little battle bit, there, yeah. A little bit to battle that, so not much, though. Winsman looks at a backdoor slider that comes back in and catches the yeah. outside corner for called strike two. Next pitch misses outside. One ball, two strikes to count to Windsman. And next pitch bounces. Kind of go to two and two. Good eye, way to lay off that. That's not easy to lay off of. Even that, <coughs> that pitch that just dives into the dirt. No, that's outside. Good framing attempt there yeah. by the catcher. but uh, Still outside. A little too much noticeable selling had to be done <laughs> on that one. So Windsman works all the way back to a full count. The next pitch swung on. Ooh, just over our heads here in the press box. Right here, I was ready. I saw you had it. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Three-two pitch comes inside. Swung on a miss. Strike three. So Mavs go 1-2-3. No runs, no hits here in the bottom of the third. Still chasing two runs down by a score of 4-2. to We're heading to the top of the fourth. We'll be right back.
All right, seven, eight, nine hitters due up for Westwood here in the top of the fourth inning. Lead it off will be right fielder Gus Wendland. Wendland hit it, grounded into a fielder's choice back in the second. And he takes a big swing and a miss at a first pitch fastball. Strike one. That's some great run right there. Gus with the break of all this time. Just got a piece, fouled it back. Strike two. Wind has been looking very stoic, very serious out there. I like it. Determined. Got a quick two strikes here. Nice. Next fish swung on a miss. Strike three. Another K for Windy. Second strikeout for Windsman. First out of the top of the fourth. Brings up left fielder Dunn. Dunn reached on a error in his first at bat in the second. First pitch to Dunn misses outside for a ball. Nice pitch there catches the outside corner there with the fastball called strike. No games to report on around the district here tonight, folks. As uh, as I mentioned, this game was supposed to be played yesterday, but due to rain conditions, was unable to be played. And another fastball runs, catches the outside corner, called strike two. I know I had to, I, I had to uh, remind myself to uh, not ask you about the uh, you know district games tonight because I, I just look forward to your updates. All right, you know yeah. during the season, even those those live updates of uh, what's going on going on around district district games. So one two breaking ball swung on a little soft line drive. And, oh, fielded by the shortstop, Vostick there. Looked like it was caught in the air, but the umpire says no, it got down. So Vostick sure thought it was a line like drive. Sure, line drive catch. All right. And instead, Dunn is aboard. And that brings up the center fielder, Moore. Moore flew out to center field in his first at bat. That was an odd call. Too bad we can't, can't go to New York for the replay on that yeah. one. It sure looked like he got that one <laughs> before it touched the ground. But uh, I don't know. we got four umpires on the field tonight, which is a rarity. And uh, <laughs> we still can't get a call. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, he was right there. Oh, you know, I'm like, I don't man. know what you're seeing. <laughs> you know, but yeah. Like you said, four umpires. And the next pitch, good breaking ball. Swing out and missed. <laughs> No surprise, Coach Geary didn't come out to, to challenge yeah. that one or at least get an appeal there, yeah. but uh, yeah, what are you going to do? Quick throw Continue over first. on, that's all we can do. The district games that were played last night, uh, Vandegrift defeated Round Rock, which definitely knocked yeah, Round Rock out of the playoff contention. Oh, another throw over first, and they got him. Definitely got him there. Good pickoff <laughs> move by Windesman. <laughs> And the <laughs> Westwood head coach is going to come over to challenge uh, that call. What, I don't know what you're going to challenge. I, uh, un unless maybe he's going to argue know. that the ball was kind of loose in the glove I there. I never saw any loose ball, but whatever. <laughs> I mean, he's pointing over to the middle of the field. Like, I, I don't know what. It was a play between the pitcher and the first baseman. Yeah, but you're right, Jason. The first thing he's doing, head coach is doing, is pointing over to the middle of the field. Maybe he's trying to argue that the the other field umpire didn't have the angle on the call, or, or wants the umpire's view on he the call. He wants him. Yeah. Oh boy. He wants the middle umpire to, uh, his perspective on it. I guess. Well. We're paying for four umpires out here tonight. I guess we're going to get our money's worth. And 
Get them all to come together there. So yes, anyway, uh, vi vi uh, Van de Grift defeated Round Rock last night by a score of 3-0. Knocked Round Rock out. Knocked Rock, Round Rock out of play playoff contention. Oh, yep. We got the out. And That's there it is. Out. After the conference there, pickoff is confirmed to be out. Two away. Nobody on. One ball, one strike count to the hitter Moore. <laughs> Vista Ridge also defeated Stony Point. Yes, they did. And uh, Cedar Ridge victorious over Hutto. And that win for Cedar Ridge put them automatically into a playoff berth. So Westwood and Cedar Ridge, the two teams guaranteed to be continuing their season on. And next pitch is in there for a called strike two. Great pitch right there. And then the outcome of this game here seems to be the determining factor in whether... Ooh, and call stri strike three. Swing a miss, strike three. For the third strike out of the night for Winnesman. And to retire the uh, side. It's a one-out single for Dunn, but goes nowhere after he's picked off. Then mm -hmm. two strikeouts. No damage done. No runs. One hit. We head to the bottom of the fourth. Mavs still chasing two runs here, down by a score of 4-2. to two. We'll be right back. All right, leading off for the Mavericks here in the bottom of the fourth. Number four hitter Jackson Collins will get things started. Collins reached on a walk in his only appearance so far this game. And first pitch fastball misses a little inside, ball one. Side, yeah, ball two. Two oh pitch swung on, fouled out of play. That was got a chance at maybe hitting Mine the car. Going to the road, yeah. Yeah. No chance of hitting a parked car here because the parking lot. You literally have to go through customs and immigration to it's get to. Solid six miles away. It is so far away from the field here. Next pitch to Collins is in there for called strike two. But the road, the McNeil Drive Road, is with a good foul ball. You can uh, you can you can get a car. Ooh, Collins gets a nice line drive with the next pitch and drives it into center field for a leadoff single. And folks, we have a uh, special shout out that we want to make here to listener Michael out of San Diego, California. Michael is Garrett Banks' uncle. So, Uncle Michael, thanks for listening, man. Tipping my ball cap to you right now. As Garrett Banks. And we got Garrett Banks batting. Coming up to the plate here with <laughs> Jackson Collins. Standing on first base after that leadoff single. And 
Banks, first pitch to Banks, misses low and outside for a ball. Banks grounded into an RBI 6-4-3 double play back in the first inning. Next pitch, umpire said caught the outside corner for called strike one. Anytime, Justin. Anytime, man. None but love, brother. Well, man, just to clarify, we just noticed this, folks. Despite what you're seeing on the screen there, we're, we're actually playing Westwood, not Stony Point, this game. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we're not getting paid for this, so. That's right. You get what that's you pay why, for, folks. That's why both of us didn't <laughs> realize that it was Stony Point. But so be it. I, I think y'all can figure it out. This is Westwood. <laughs> If we were getting paid, it'd be a different story, Jason. Yes, we'd have our pay docked for not having the no correct doubt. scoring yeah, background yeah. up there. <laughs> One and two, the count of the hitter banks. Next pitch is swung Whoa. on deep, driving to center Good field. Cut. Get over his head. But oh. on the run, heading backwards, center fielder makes the grab just a couple of feet from the fence. Great cut, though, Garrett Banks. Good contact there, yeah. drove it right out to dead center. So one away, brings up the center fielder, Ramsey Simpson, struck out in his first at bat. Things a big swing and a miss, the first pitch, strike one. There we go. We have the updated scoreboard now. There we go. No no more stony point. Better late than never. Yeah, you know. Next pitch swung on deep fly ball. Kind of, yeah, deeper fly ball than it looked. It Out in kind of sh right center field there, but center fielder is over there and makes the grab as well for the second out. Map starting to make some good solid contact here against the pitcher Morgan, who just crossed pitch number 58 of his outing. And with two away, that will bring up third baseman Joseph Sandusky. So my excuse is I've got a senior, Ryan Vosick, playing tonight, and my eyes are really puffy from all the tears. <laughs> I just can't really see the scoreboard very well anyway. So <laughs> that's my story, and I'm sticking understandable, to Understandable, understandable. I'm just a bubbling mass over there. <laughs> <laughs> Bittersweet tonight, though, Jace. Bittersweet. Indeed. Yeah. Oh, next pitch swung on. Foul back out of play. That one might have a shot at getting onto the road. road. Yeah, Road. Yeah. 0 oh 2. And 0-2 oh, pitch, swung on a miss, strike three. So leadoff hit by Collins, but unable to bring him around. Mavs go 1-2-3 after that. Heading to the top of the fifth inning. Score still Westwood out in front by a score of 4-2. to two. We'll be right back.
All right, back to the top of the order here for Westwood in the top of the fifth inning. Bring up Jeff Hebert. Hebert one for two with a single double and a run scored so far tonight. First pitch in there for called strike one. Ooh, good pitch on the next one. Came a little inside. Thought it, thought it may have caught that inside corner, but umpire says no. Next pitch misses a little outside. Count will go to two and one. Next pitch comes inside. Count will go to three balls, one strike to the leadoff hitter Hebert. B1 pitch, good breaking ball in there, called strike two. Unamas, one more here. Come and get him. Husband gets his sign, 3 2 pitch. Fastball misses a little bit up, ball four. Lead off walk for Hebert. That will bring up the number two hitter, Gael Garcia. Garcia reached on a fielder's choice and then had a double back in the third. And we've got some soccer chants going on down in the uh, <laughs> student section here. That's the well, first pitch to Garcia. This is outside. Of a sudden, I was like, okay, did I am I at Austin FC now? Yeah. <laughs> Can't be bringing soccer stuff into a baseball game. Come no, on now. No. It just doesn't happen. <laughs> It'd be like playing the seventh inning stretch during a soccer game. That'd be right. people would be like, what? <laughs> What is this? <laughs> Next pitch, ground ball. Fielded by Sandusky. Once again, going to make a throw. <laughs> and he gets the out in second. Are you kidding me, folks? <laughs> He's on the ground again. <laughs> Fielding the ball. You know, laying out. I'm assuming everybody saw dirt. that on the video there. But <laughs> Sandusky at third just playing like out of his head here tonight. Defensively. Third incredible play of the game. Uh, by Sandusky. Yeah, <laughs> start, start calling him Caminetti. That's right. So Garcia sure, safe at first them, on the fielder's choice, ah, but incredible. unbelievable defensive play there by Sandusky to get the force yeah, out at second. Record the out here. Wow. <laughs> so one away, and Garcia on first brings up number three hitter Matthew Gula. Gula's grounded grounded into a double play and then grounded out. Another one of Sandusky's victims so far tonight. <laughs> Next pitch swung on. Fly, fly ball, foul territory over on the right field side. Granky hustling in his way over there, but overruns it, and so it's going to be down. No damage done, though. Just a long fly ball. But I had complete faith in, in Sandusky right there making the play, you know. Watching it, watching it unfold in front of us, I just I was like, nah, but he's going to get another out. And sure enough, he did. I mean, <laughs> not being on his feet does not seem to be a, uh, a requirement for him to make it out there. So, Well, he's got the arm, no doubt. He's like, oh, on my butt, I got this. Big breaking ball swung on a miss for strike two. Had some great movement coming in on the hands right here. On that last pitch. Oof. Mm -hmm. 
And Wisdom is going to throw over to first. Check the runner, Gula, over there. who's back in time. Actually, that's Garcia. Gula's the hitter. One two pitch, swung on ground ball, gets underneath the glove of the first baseman Collins and into right field for a base hit. Oh, and it rolls through the legs of the right fielder Granky, so everybody's gonna move up one base. So the single by Gula ends up with runners on second and third. And one out here, and that will bring up the pitcher, Ridge Morgan. Morgan with a double and a walk, and his last at bat in the third. Mavericks defense in on the grass, trying to cut off the run at home. And pitch, oh, it's like kicked away from the catcher, but that's because it hit the foot of the Hitter Morgan there, so, so runners can be going back to third base. Everybody will return back. It will be bases loaded with one out, and it'll bring up Jackson Gula, the hitter. We're also going to have number 14 Luke Rupertis comes in to be the courtesy runner for the pitcher Morgan at first. Gula the DH with a single and reached on a fielder's choice back in the third inning. Middle infielders need to help uh, their pitcher out. Roll a double play right here. Get that ground ball. Expect you swung on line, and that's going to get in down and into left field for a base hit. One run's going to come around, but they're going to hold up Gula at third. So opposite field, RBI single for Gula. That'll make the score 5-2 to two in favor of Westwood. Everybody moves up one, still bases loaded. And head coach Aguirre for the Mavericks is going to come out and have a meeting on the mound. You know, you take away the hit by pitch. I mean, Windesman was getting ground balls. It's about all, all you can ask of your pitcher here, but. Yeah, it's just the, you're spot on, Jason. Defense, you know, needs to help the pitcher out. He's he's doing what he needs to do, getting those ground balls, and, you yeah, know, that's the way it goes. That's baseball. Three errors for the Mavericks tonight. So head coach Aguirre is going to stick with his pitcher there. Windersman will stay in. And see if he can get out of this bases loaded one out jam with the uh, catcher Brinson coming up to the plate. Brinson with a strikeout. Struck out looking in the second and then singles in the how third. Many, how many unearned runs for Westwood out of their five total? And Brinson swings to the first pitch, pops it foul. Looks like it's going to get out of play. Yeah, it's out of play. I think it might have hit one of the lights. Uh, according to our official scorebook here, of the five Westwood runs, four of them are earned. Four earned. Yeah, I was thinking it was one or two, possibly unearned. Okay. Thank you. Oh, and one to count to the hitter Brinson. Comes inside, misses a little bit up and in. Ball one. Starting pitcher Wynn has been working on pitch number 74 of the outing coming up here. Next
This pitch miss is just a little bit low, looks like. Ball two. Again, no movement with the flags. No wind. Oh, you're right. Not a at all. not a bit of wind out here. Two one pitch. Ooh, kind of sorted him there with a uh, nasty breaking ball. Strike two. Yeah. Might not be a bad idea to try that one again. Let's see what he comes with. 2-2 two -two pitch. Breaking ball misses Breaking outside. Ball. Count goes to full. And let the soccer chanting commence yet again. 3-2 pitch. Oh! Just misses outside ball Come four. Blue. Just a bit outside, I guess. Look good. So everybody moves up. That brings another run across, making the score 6-2. to two. And that brings up, oh, we're going to have a pinch hitter coming in here, number 16, Colton Clements. Clements going in to hit in place of the right fielder, Gus Wendland, in the seventh spot of the Warriors lineup. All right, Mavs defense, help your pitcher out. We got to stop the bleeding. First pitch to Clements, fastball catches the outside part of the plate for called strike one. That, to me, that looked like the exact same pitch that was called ball four. Sure, sure looked pretty close to it, yeah. I digress. Next pitch comes inside with the breaking ball again. Swung on a miss. Strike two. Clements, pinch hitter, hasn't seen Windesman tonight, so he's guessing up there. O2 pitch. Swung on just fouled it back out of play. O2 pitch. Yep. Called strike three on the outside corner. Strikeout for Windesman. Big strikeout for Windesman there to get the second out of the inning. Fourth strikeout of the night. And with two away, that'll bring up the left fielder, Dunn. Dunn reached both times tonight. First on an error, and then second time on a single back in the third, or back in the fourth inning. Yeah, pretty. Tough predicament for pinch hitter Colton Clements coming in the game. Like you'd stated, Jason, hadn't seen Chris Windesman, and uh, Windesman made him pay. The strikeout, big second out for the Mavericks. And Dunn looks at didn't miss by much right there. Two straight balls to start the at bat. 2-0 count. Two-zero pitch misses outside, so we're going to a three-zero count here with two outs and nowhere to put them. Bases loaded. Courtesy runner Rupertus, your runner on third. Jackson Gould at second and Brinson at first. And three-zero pitch misses low, I guess. Ball four, and it looks like that's going to be the. Last hitter of the night for Windesman as Coach Aguirre heads out to the mound for the second time this inning. 
Another run comes across, making the score 7-2. to two. So Winners Men will likely head back out to center field, stay in the game. And it looks like our left fielder, Brandon Morio, is going to come in in relief. Ramsey Simpson, the center fielder, moves to his left to take Brandon Morio's place. So, Brandon Morio set to come on. We'll let him get his warm-up pitches here, and we'll be right back to see if he can get us out of this bases loaded two-out jam here in the top of the fifth. Okay, Morio is ready to go. And he will face the number nine hitter, Moore. He inherits a bases loaded two out situation. Moore 0 for 2 with a fly out and a strikeout in his two appearances. And first pitch bounces in the dirt, kept in front by the catcher, Banks. Ball one. Next pitch swung on, laced foul down the right field side. One one breaking ball misses high and outside, ball two. You don't think the umpires got confused, do you? Um, thinking that this is a playoff game already. <laughs> That's why there's four of them. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Sorry, I can't resist. <laughs> it is. Next pitch swung on, popped. Shallow right field, Shallow. cranking underneath it, and he makes the grab, yes. and that will end the inning. So Morio comes in and gets out of the bases loaded jam. But Westwood tacks on three more runs. Now ahead by a deficit of five. Leading the Mavs by a score of 7-2 to two as we head to the bottom of the fifth. Mavs coming up to bat. We'll be right back.
All right, leading off for the Mavericks in the bottom of the fifth. Designated here, Caleb Crail. Mavs looking for some base runners any way they can get him this mm -hmm. inning. That first pitch comes in, nearly hits him. This is inside and high, ball one. Hey, wear it. <laughs> Just don't wear it to the chin. Next pitch swing on a hard line drive right up the middle for a leadoff single. That's what we need. A lot more of those. So Crail's aboard with a single right up the middle, and that'll bring up the now pitcher for the Mavericks, Brandon Morio. Morio grounded out to second base in his only appearance so far tonight. And first pitch to Morio. Fastball catches the outside corner for a called strike. Next pitch swung on ground ball. Fielded by the third baseman. Throws the second in time to get Crail at first. But throw over to first is going to be offline. Morio is going to try to get to second on the throw. And he's going to be out. That's a case there, folks. You got your catcher was over, came out of the box, backed up first base, and was there in time for the overthrow. Here's the right, right place, right time. Had a, you know, and he had to make a near perfect throw, which he did too. Perfect yep. placement. He was backing up the throw. And so heads up defense yeah. by the catcher for Westwood there to get Morio trying to stretch the error. To second base. Well, Morio did the right thing. Uh, you're in that situation. You know, it's a misthrow. You're you're running. You know, it just it was a great play. Got to tip your cap to the uh, catcher for backing up that throw, and making a perfect perfect throw over to second base for the uh, second out. That brings us back to the top of the Mavericks order here. Jack Goins stands in. Goins one for two with a single and a run scored back into first. Whoa! And the next pitch comes in and hits him right in the shoulder. Shoulder, yeah. So two out hit by pitch for Goins. Puts him down on first. And we're going to have another visit to the mound. We do have a left-hander warming up over in the Westwood bullpen. Mm -hmm. And we will see if that's going to be the end of the night for Morgan or if he's going to stay with him. Morgan just crossed. That was pitch number 69. Yeah, staying with him. He's going to leave him in. Mm So Ryan Vosick stands in. Vosick one for two with a single and a run scored back into first. And he looks at a first pitch fastball and misses low and outside for ball one. Runner there goes, go. and Vosick does a great job of hitting the ball the opposite way into right field for a single. Goins is going to go all the way to third on the hit and run there. And they throw over to first to try to get Vosick, who has to dive back, but he's back safely. What do you go with the pitch? You know, the right side, runner, runner moving. Great job of executing yeah. the hit and run there, and then the positional oh. hitting by Vosick. And the Mavs now have runners on first and third with two outs. Brings up... Now the center fielder, Chris Windesman. Even with two outs, we've got to keep this momentum going here for the Mavericks. 
And squares around to Bunt, pulls back though, pitches over there in the over the plate for a called strike. And that runner goes, but they're going to get him caught up in the rundown, and he's going to be tagged out before the run crosses. And home umpire, home plate umpire says Goings did not cross the plate by the time that Vosick was tagged out on the bases there. I'm not sure what we're doing there with the score 7-2, to two, but um, okay. That's the third out. So out on the base pass ends the at ends the at bat and the inning. The Mavs get runners on first and third, but unable to bring them around. We're headed to the top of the sixth. Mavs still chasing five runs down by a score of seven to two. We'll be right back. All right, we have one, one defensive change for the Mavericks here. Uh, number 22, Ryan Shook, now playing right field. Takes the place of Cole Granke, previous right fielder who seems to have come out of the game. I believe that's all the changes. Yeah, so the top of the order due up. For Westwood here in the top of the sixth. Leadoff hitter Jeff Hebert stands in. Hebert reached all three times today. Single, double, and a walk. And first pitch from Morio is in there for a called strike. Next pitch swung on, lofted into center field. Winnesman a couple of steps back and makes his grab on the run for the first out of the inning. Mm. One away. Brings up number two hitter, Gael Garcia. Garcia also reached all three times, twice by fielder's choice, and then had a double and a run scored back in the third. And first pitch, fastball hits, a, kicks off the plate and takes a big bounce back to the screen for ball one. Next pitch misses just a little bit low and outside ball two. Big swing and a miss at a high fastball there for strike one. Yeah. 
Winners pitch, breaking ball, swung on, ground ball, fielded by Sandusky at third, throws over to first in time. Sure-handed Sandusky there. I was about to say, Sandusky, make it interesting. Throw it off your back. <laughs> <laughs> just, well, just fall down. Uh, Still get him out. We know he can he can make magic happen when he's not on his feet. It's, it's, test there was, hey, here's a routine one. Can we make that one happen? Sure he's enough. He's got the magic in him. <laughs> Isn't that a song? Got the magic in me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So two up, two down. That brings up the number three hitter, Gula, Matthew Gula. Swings at the first pitch, breaking ball. Misses foul down the third base line. Very, very close. Looked like that. I thought it might have hit, hit the back. base. I thought it might have hit third base. I, yeah, think, the, <laughs> I think the I third think base coach is from Westwood is coming over saying, uh, I think it hit right here, boo. But he's going to let it go. He's not going to challenge it. And Westwood head coach, hey, can I consult with the other three umpires? <laughs> yeah. I think they may have seen something different than you. Yeah, that hit the bag from what I saw. But, hey, I'm glad he said foul ball. Great call, Blue. A one breaking ball misses a little bit low for ball one. Or should I say boo? <laughs> down. Inside Next pitch corner. comes in inside. Gets a call. One ball, two strikes. Give him a high v low. Big breaking ball swung by miss strike three. Ball, whichever floats your boat. Great strike three, strikeout for Morio. Wow, third out. Warriors go one, two, three. No runs, no hits here in the top of the six. Heading to the bottom of the six. Mavs coming up to bat. Score still seven two. We'll be right back. All right, pitching change for Westwood, number 23, the left-hander Jared Hyman has come in in relief for Ridge Morgan, and he will face the 3-4-5 part of the Mavericks lineup here, leading off with center fielder Chris Windesman. And first pitch is just a bit outside, and misses for ball one. Next pitch swung on, hard line drive. He's going to get, oh, just I thought, I thought it, was, it was over his head. Looked like it was over the head of the yeah. right fielder there. He took a hard 
set of steps oh, back man. towards his oh. left, but makes the grab on the run for the first out. Thought we were going to have a one hop to the fence over his head, but no, nope, one out. Good contact. Yes, it was. Mavs down to five outs. I'll bring up the number four hitter, Jackson Collins. Collins reaching both of his at-bats today. Walk in the first and then a single in the fourth. So he's the first pitch he sees. Soft ground ball, but it kicks around from the third baseman there. Throws over. Throw is low, but a good pick by the Warriors' first baseman for the second out of the inning. Just like that, two down for the Mavericks. So with two away, that'll bring up the catcher, Garrett Banks. Not bad for the Mavericks. Number two, Garrett Banks. Big swing and a miss. The first pitch Banks sees for strike one. Next pitch, breaking ball, misses a little bit up. Ball one. Got a few of the Westwood fans. <laughs> Just like, where was that? Yeah. <laughs> I was watching right now. <laughs> and Next pitch, swung on, lofted. Fly ball, right field side. It's in foul territory. Right field, oh, comes wow. over, makes a diving right grab. Field. He in made that look pretty easy, too. Just kind of diving down to his knees. Making the catch in foul territory for the third out. So Mavs go one, two, three here in the top of the sixth. Heading to the top of the seventh. Last uh, at bats coming up for the Warriors. Still ahead fairly comfortably by a score of seven to two. We'll be right back. All right, top of the seventh inning. Four, five, six hitters due up for the Warriors. Leading off will be who was the starting pitcher. I believe he may have moved to third base, uh, Ridge Morgan. So that first pitch that missed inside, I guess, somewhere. Ball one. Morgan with a double, a walk, and a hit by pitch in his three appearances today. I like how you say that, too. I guess it missed inside somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> we are not sure where, but... That breaking ball missed a little high ball, too. 
Oh, next pitch, fastball. Looked like that, that, could, that pitch seemed to have been called a strike most of the night, but it has been. As umpire saw something different. for the call. 3 0 the count. Glad I'm not holding my breath. Mm. There's a strike one. Comes inside with the fastball. Gets a called strike. Three one pitch misses nope. outside. Ball four. Ball four. Lead off walk for Morgan to start the top of the seventh inning. That'll bring in the designated hitter Gula, Jackson Gula. Brother Matthew Gula also part of the lineup today for the Warriors. Jackson Gula, uh, two for three with two singles today. <clears throat> Great pitch. First pitch breaking ball looked pretty good from here, but must have missed low. Ball one. Fantastic pitch. Oh. All right, I'm breathing. I'm working on my breathing exercises. Mario struggling to get a call here. That last pitch missed a little bit high. Ball two. Comes inside. A 2-0 pitch there gets called strike. Next pitch breaking ball, tried to sit, sit back on it, manages to get a bat on it, fouls it out of play. It'll be a 2 2 count. Not much of a lead off of first base. And Mora is going to throw back. Ball. Yep. Two two pitch swung on ground ball at second base, fielded by Goins, throws nice to second, play gets the force out. Goins to get the force at second base. The first out of this and half inning. Morgan, the runner tried to appeal, saying that maybe somebody's foot wasn't on the bag, but he's unsuccessful. So fielder's choice for Gula, he stands on first. Lead runner Morgan is out at second for the first out of the inning. And that brings up catcher Jack Brinson. <clears throat> Brinson one for three with a strikeout looking single and then reached on a walk in the fifth. I can't. I can't. Yeah. First pitch misses a little inside, low ball one. No, that wouldn't be it. No. One zero pitch swung on ground ball fielded by Sandusky throws the second gets the out not going to have a throw over to first. So another force out at second base. Second out of the inning cuts down the lead runner. Yep. Back to back fried chickens there two fielders choices. Ooh, and wow. looks like we're going to have a courtesy runner for the catcher Brinson at first. This is uh, number nineteen Flores. Yeah. Goes in, and he's the runner at first. Two outs. Jason, I like that. Back-to-back -back fried chickens. That's right. Yeah. It's an official term. Yes, it is. And at the plate, number seven, Gus Wendland, has gone back in to hit in his original spot in the seventh spot. He was originally pinch hit for last inning by Clements, who struck out looking. So Wendland in, swings the first pitch, fouls it off. 0-1 oh, count. Next pitch misses a low and inside ball one. Couple fried chickens. That's only what the pros use, is what you know. So yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed. 
I like that. I like it a lot. One one pitch swung on. Little sleepy fly ball just over the head of Goins and gets into shallow right field. Runner's going to go from first, try to get all the way to third. He's going to be in. Pick his throw is uh, picked up by Sandusky. Almost threw to second there, but did not. So on the throw in, Wendling moves to second base, and we now have runners on second and third with two outs. And the number eight hitter, Dunn, comes to the plate. Dunn has reached in all three of his appearances, reached on an error, had a single, and then walked. Swings at a first pitch breaking ball, lost it foul out of play, right side. One pitch misses a little bit low. You've called it plenty of times this game. Okay. Mm. Next pitch, fastball misses outside. Ball two, two and one the count. Next pitch breaking ball is in there for a called strike. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Deuces. Next pitch breaking ball misses high and outside. Count's going to go full. First base is open. It's not the end of the world if he walks. 3-2 pitch swung on just a swinging bunt. Are you kidding me? And they fielded by Morio. Tries to th flip it home to get the runner advancing from third, but he's unsuccessful at doing so. So it is a swinging RBI bunt. single on a ball that maybe went 10 feet into fair territory. So another run comes in. Makes the score 8-2 to two Westwood. And there are runners on first and third here, still with two outs. Brings up the number nine hitter, Moore. Moore roll for three with two fly outs and a strikeout. It's the old three, two count, swing, bunt, it's a RBI. Big, big swing and a miss on that first one, fouls it back, strike one. Next pitch breaking ball just misses high, I'm going to guess. It's like, what do I have to do to get a strike call? Runners are going to go. And the throw is offline. And we have a double steal of home and second. One of those moves you can pull. Sometimes you get those left-handed pitchers. Yeah. And you're caught off guard, you know, with next pitch bunt. Played by the first play by Morio throws over to first There's in time, ball. and that's gonna end the inning. But the Warriors tack on two more on some crafty base running. And on one hit that actually leaves the infield. Mavs coming up for their last at bats of the season. It. This is it, folks. Nine to two, your score. Westwood in front. We're heading to the bottom of the Here seventh. Stick with us. We'll be right back.
That's the real truth, Rob. <laughs> All right, bottom of the seventh. Last at bats for the Mavs here. Need to start putting base runners on any way possible to try to shrink this lead down, come back, and see if we can extend the game here. Leading off will be the number six hitter, Ramsey Simpson. I'm going to put you on the spot here just for a second. Mm -hmm. What's the biggest run differential that uh, the Mavs have come back from? Have we had more than seven? You know, against Lake Travis, I think we were down like nine to one or ten to and one, then and then we came back like ten nine or something. 10, nine, Actually, we might have yeah. gone ahead like eleven to ten. I, I think we did, and then we lost it again. <laughs> but <laughs> we didn't win the game, but she sure made it exciting. But the biggest run differential, yeah, definitely has not been seven runs. We've we've come back from more than yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Yeah, right when you started talking about Lake Travis, it's like, oh yeah, we did. Simpson fouls the first pitch off over towards the Mavericks. Dunk Any way to one. get on. We just <laughs> lean into those pitches. That would have been one to lean into. Yeah, here. Breaking ball, yeah, it didn't I was, break. I was thinking <laughs> that would have been a perfect pitch to lean into. And you're standing on first base. We don't want to pitch swung on good hard line drive over the head of the first baseman in the right field for a leadoff single. I really love his uh, his confidence at the plate. He's been swinging the bat really well this season. Very impressed with that kid, Mr. Ramsey Simpson. All right. Good hit. Good hit to start. Leadoff batter is on base. So we're going to have a pinch hitter. Number 23, Alex Brasino comes in and will hit in the seventh spot in place of uh, third baseman Joseph Sandusky. Brasino, one of the 12 seniors playing here in their last game tonight. And he looks at breaking ball, catches the outside corner for called strike one. Next pitch, fastball misses pretty far outside, ball one. <clears throat> Next pitch misses inside low. Two and one, the count to the hitter, Brasenio. Big swing and a miss. The next pitch, fastball, strike two. Hard ground ball, fielded by the shortstop, takes it himself at second, throws over to first, and in time to get the double play. Mavs down to the final out. And we're going to have another pinch hitter, number 22, Ryan Shook, who entered the game last inning on defense and uh, was playing right field, will come in and hit in the eighth spot. In place of Caleb Crail. Shirk takes a big hack at the first pitch he sees there and misses strike one. Next pitch comes inside, breaking ball, almost hits him on the knees. Throw that knee out there. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be one to wear, just not a kneecap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Nothing feels good right in the kneecap. Definitely want to stay away from kneecap. Another break of ball. This one swung out and missed this time. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. The count to Shook. Gets a piece of the next one, fouls it back out of play. One, two, breaking ball just misses a little inside. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. I got gotcha. you. Deuces here. I guess pitch one on just reaches out, gets yeah. a piece of it, and fouls it back into the net to stay alive. Let's stay alive. Two two pitch. Swag on and miss strike three. So that ends the game. Final score, Westwood nine, McNeil two. Dows the coach. Westwood. Westwood Warriors celebrating the fact that with that victory they have won the district. Won district twenty five six A. Congrats to Westwood. The record of 11 and 3. So they will advance to the playoffs. Thanks everyone for joining us from around the country tonight as well as for the entire season. Appreciate you listening in. Steve, it's been a pleasure broadcasting with you. Jason, it's been so much fun. You're Good luck. Champ. You're a champ, man. It's, it's been great being alongside you. That ends the season for the Mavericks here. Be sure we will be back next spring. We'll be back on Vibe. You get to deal with my lovely voice for one more season, folks. And uh, we'll see you then. Thanks again, everyone, for listening. Take care. I'm signing off for good. Thank you guys for listening. Take care, guys.